Dear friends, I'm Ludo de Brabander from uh, Vrede, the spokesperson of Vrede, a Belgian peace organization based in Ghent. 75 years ago, an atomic bomb destroyed the city of Hiroshima. More than 70,000 people died immediately. Nagasaki suffered the same fate three days later. And for decades, the survivors have been exposed to the horrific effects of radiation. And no one knows how many people ultimately died, but most estimates speak of 250,000 deaths. Nuclear weapons are gruesome weapons of mass destruction. And we need to be reminded that the nightmare of a nuclear catastrophe is not only something that belongs to history, but can happen all the time and on a larger scale. Currently, 13,400 nuclear arms are threatening the life on our planet, of which 90% are deployed in the United States and Russia. The destructive power of today's warheads is many times greater than that of the bombs that reduced Hiroshima and Nagasaki to rubble. Public and political outrage of over nuclear weapons is no longer what it used to be, unfortunately. Four decades ago, however, the plan to deploy nuclear missiles in Europe led to the largest mass mobilizations in history in several of the countries concerned. The global public pressure was so huge that it led to bilateral agreements between the then Soviet Union, later Russia, and the United States and dismantling of many of the nuclear weapons. But this hopeful period of nuclear disarmament has come to an end. All nine current nuclear weapon states are amid modernizing their nuclear arsenals. Warheads and carrier systems are being renewed. There are deployable mini-nukes and hypersonic weapons that cannot be intercepted. In the military doctrines of Russia and the US, the importance of nuclear weapons has again increased. Moreover, the international nuclear disarmament architecture is being phased out. The INF deal on short and medium range nuclear weapons was terminated last year by the United States and then Russia. Negotiations for the successor of, to the New START, a treaty on the limitation of ballistic nuclear weapons, have hardly been started, although the current agreement will expire early next year. And tensions regularly run high between nuclear weapon states of China, Pakistan and India. International scientists have now moved the famous doomsday clock closer to midnight. On this clock, we are only 100 seconds away from 12, symbolizing an approaching planetary catastrophe. Just as with global warming, we cannot afford to ignore the threat posed by nuclear weapons. In a few years, the American nuclear bombs in Belgium, Germany, Italy, the Netherlands and Turkey will be subjected to, so to a so-called life extension program. In fact, what is called modernization will rather be a deployment of new B-6112 nuclear bombs with an electronic tail to guide them more precisely price to a target. As a citizen of my country, I'm really concerned because Belgian pilots are responsible to drop these bombs in wartime. This is in contradiction with the Non-Proliferation Treaty that prohibits the direct and indirect control of nuclear arms by non-nuclear states. Let us be clear. Arguments often used by proponents of nuclear weapons in Belgium are false. For example, the idea of mutual deterrence became a complete obsolete military concept due to the development of new nuclear arms and the importance attached to nuclear weapons in current nuclear doctrines. Another argument used by NATO and its member states is that these weapons guarantee our safety, which is completely nonsense. On the contrary, countries with nuclear arms on their territory are more than elsewhere a potential nuclear target and making us more, much more unsafe. It's also endlessly reiterated that we must remain loyal to NATO. Read, we must behave as a US puppet state. Which means in practice that we thwart the UN nuclear disarmament process by refusing to sign the treaty on the prohibition for nucle of nuclear arms and remain in violation with the Non-Proliferation Treaty. 
due to the complete lack of a clear commitment to nuclear disarmament by all nuclear weapon states, the growing importance of nuclear weapons in their military doctrines, and the unreliability of the leaders that have unfortunately also real political power to launch a nuclear war, we have no time to waste. As in the 1980s, nuclear weapons should be high on the political agenda. It's not only a responsibility of politicians and media to make sure that nuclear disarmament is an absolute priority. It's a responsibility for all of us, for us as a citizen. We cannot afford new Hiroshima's or Nagasaki's. We have an opportunity to show that Europe without nuclear arms is a safer Europe and therefore We need to stop the deployment of new nuclear bombs. We want the current B-61 bombs to be returned to sender. We don't want any nuclear sharing agreements inside NATO and we ask our governments for the sake of the future for mankind to sign and ratify the treaty on the prohibition of nuclear weapons. This is a net necessity. This is a necessity for our future. A nuclear-free Europe is possible. I thank you.